Welcome, welcome, one and all. Sorry about that. I had some microphone issues. Hopefully you all can hear me now. Welcome to S44, the spring training. So we have a little bit of a moniker uh, on that or you know, a little tagger. That's It's not really S44 kickoff. It is uh, like preseason, right? Spring training. Thank you all so much for tuning in tonight. We uh, do things a little more fast than loose here in spring training if you haven't been a part of it. Um, so we let the Twitch chat decide what games we're going to watch. Now I prefer to, you know, have some divisional matchups or matchups that, um, you know, are maybe like evenly, evenly matches is the right word for it or term for it. So if you um, have any teams you want to see, we can kick off things with a live game. We're going to do a lot of quick sims. We've probably got to go, I don't know, I'll check the schedule. It, we probably got to do about like two sim weeks worth of games. I don't remember. I don't remember exactly where it um, lets up. Uh, what's good, Gumlin? Um, I can't remember where it exactly. It, it's usually around like the sixth of April, seventh, eighth, somewhere in there. So we got like two weeks or so. So yeah, we're gonna kick things off. I am uh, not probably gonna be streaming quite as much because I'm uh, busy. But Thursdays might be my day to stream. So. Anyway, if anyone wants to see any games, in particular majors or minors, uh, be glad to stream it to start off here. So, And then just uh, mods, it's going to be a little bit trickier because uh, because we're just, uh, we don't have a scheduled like prime time and featured games like we normally do during the regular season. So if anyone you know in chat wants to um, shout it out, we could watch um, Defending World Series Champions uh, Cancun Toros take on the Seattle Sea Serpents. That could be a fun one. Only Apex games? All right, you heard it. I mean, Apex and Space Rangers, that's a divisional matchup, right? They're in the same division. Um, that'd be a fun one as well. We do have minor league games also. So, um, I mean, it wouldn't be a stream without Slothface wanting to see some California Firehawks. They're playing the Anchorage Wheelers. Could be a fun one there as well. So, I'm open to whatever. I, I'm always usually a little partial to the majors games. That's just because I spend a lot of time with the uh, um, with my, my my team, my GM, and and you know with the uh, GMs as well. So anyway, we have sleuths, Sl sauce voyagers. That could be pretty fun. Um, Again, in the legends, I'm kind of predicting that's uh, that 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 uh, wild card spot. The, even the you know two wild card spots are probably going to be fought between f uh, three or four teams. You know, probably probably three teams for two spots. But we can do whatever. As soon as I see a second team from a different individual, so I got like one for Apex. I got oh, I got two Apex passes in the chat. That, that might be it. That might be it. Um. Let's get a prediction up mods. We're going to do a little champions matchup, Lunar Base Space Rangers against the Indianapolis Apex. Um, I know the Indie squad always uh, appreciates my streams. It seems like they uh, perform pretty well in general. I mean, there's maybe one bad sim in there, but we don't talk about it. <laughs> We're going to play one. Uh, Slave is careful. It's called uh, multi. We don't, we don't recommend that around these parts. <laughs> um... So let's do a prediction here. If you want to or if you need help, I can help, I guess. But set it up for like five minutes. HO. <laughs> well, yeah. If you join HO, you know. All right. Andy versus Lure Base. All right. So we got a, we got a who will win. Who's going to win? Uh, spring training, if you haven't been around, gets pretty wild. Usually the um, AI pulls the pitchers quite fast um so a lot of times the bullpen's kind of left over although that's more in the sim games the played out games sometimes they go like four or five innings but yeah and what's interesting this matchup hor hypocrite starting i think was a former indianapolis apex member if i'm not mistaken uh some players maybe keep an eye on uh marcelo reyes I believe uh rookie here so we'll see how this is spring training so the stats don't really count but uh see how the um you know, start of the career treats Marcelo Reyes. I can't remember Nets' previous player, but I know he was a long-time surge there in GM. So, 
We'll see if uh, Judah the Jew has a breakout season. You know, Nightbot, I think I've already created a player, but I appreciate the offer. And I think I'm already in the Discord. So, but, you know, Nightbot's always looking out for me. Hopefully, I haven't checked. Hopefully, the um, my mic audio was a little off. Hopefully, my um, output audio is also okay. Or like my, you know, whatever you want to call it. Stereo audio. I don't know. That's, people don't really say stereo anymore, do they? <laughs> All right. We're going to get things going here in a second. If we want to close down the prediction, first pitch is going to be Space Rangers and Indianapolis Apex. Paz, you better be cheering loud, as well as uh, who else requested Apex? Gumlin, Cal Pico in the chat himself. You better be cheering loud for them Zoomy boys. Let's get it. Okay, hold up. I, oh, hold on. I, you, you guys can hear it, but I can't. So let me change my. Oh. Oh, it's because I have it turned down. There we go. There we go. Mix amp was turned down, of course. Looks like a one, two, three inning for the lunar base space. That's why we do spring training, right? That's why we do spring training. I'm, I'm getting warmed up. I'm shaking off the rest. I haven't streamed in a couple weeks. Here we go, Arthur Morgan lead things off. Grounds out, I think, uh, what, former um, MVP. And then just over the left field wall is Dog and Eminem playing first base, getting that home run, driving that low and away pitch just over that left field wall for a solo shot. Space Rangers take a 1-0 to zero lead here. Allison Chain is going to strike out swinging. She is looking smug. Now we'll bring up Cali Alvarez with two outs, and Alvarez goes down swinging. So only one hit to this point for both teams. It's a banger, though, of a home run from Dog and Eminem. Shout out to Jay Steele. Four, five, six hitters due up for the Indianapolis Apex. And Curtis McKenzie, big hack and swinging a miss. Strike a three. Amelia Milligan. Just got a big extension there with the Indianapolis Apex. Is going to get a single up the middle. That is one on, one out for Calpico with a strikeout, though, on the 0-2 slider. Makes it two down. Rich Cano, Bannonboom, winds it directly to center fielder Arthur Morgan. And that will do it for the top of the second. Bottom of two we go. Scumino Hokavada leads things off with nobody out. And a 2-2 count drives it past the third baseman. Their base trying to add on to their 1 0 lead, but it's going to be Jeff Newman ground out to the 6 4 fielder's choice. They do not try to turn two. Full count. Cross Erickson going deep and gone. What a shot over the right field wall. Cross Erickson 370 feet to make it a 3 0 ball game in favor of the Space Rangers. I'll turn it over to Blair Boyant batting eighth here tonight. Full count. Boyant is going to try to leg it out and does so. And we've got a 1-6-3 double play. Nicely turned there by the shortstop Milligan. So Lunar Base is only going to get two off the two-run homer. 3-0 three to zero in favor of the Space Rangers. Marcelo Reyes due up is going to strike out. Swinging, big hack there. That is one down. Bringing up Alexander Alescu. And Alescu's going to leg out an infield single. Not an error. Nate Nitro... Giving this one a ride to center, but is caught. That is one down. Two down, sorry. Judah the Jew is going to fly up to left field. That is out number three. No runs to this point through three full innings for HR Hypocrites. Holding the apex in check. Space Rangers with a 3-0 lead. Arthur Morgan due up first. Will strike out looking. Stun gun still out there for Indianapolis. Dog and Eminem. Also striking out swinging. Sun gun with four strikeouts now. Two outs. Solid contact from Chains, but it's a little too high. Hangs up in the air for Nate Nitro. That is out number three. Top of fourth we go. 0-3 ball game with the 
Apexes. Three, four, five hitters do up. Koala Kyle starting things off. Hypocrite still in there. And that's a liner to center for one out. McKenzie giving this one a shot into the g -g 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 gap. That is into left center. And a ground rule double, maybe? Yep. Ground rule double. We're in scoring position for Milligan, but striking out swinging. That's a missed opportunity. Two down. Cal Pico's up, and Pico is going to get an infield single, put runners at the corners. DH Ridge Cannell, bottom boom, strikes out. So some missed opportunities here for the Apex with a runner in scoring position. They're going to still remain with a zero on the scoreboard. Bottom of fourth we go. Cali Alvarez, the lead off single on the 1-0 count. So one on, nobody out for Scumina Holcavado. He's going to lift this one to center. It's no problem for Nitro. One down. And that is a shallow pop-up in the right field there. No problem for second baseman Reyes. Cross Harrison, who had a two-run homer earlier, is going to get a, an RBI double down that, burning it down that left field line past the third baseman. 4-0 ball game now in favor of the Space Rangers. And Boyant with another clutch two-out hit, but it's going to be gunned down at home plate. Curtis McKenzie taking out Cross Erickson, round in third. 4-0 remains our score. Top of the fifth we go with Marcelo Reyes. Reyes watches strike three go by. That is out number one. A lot of strikeouts here in this one. Benjamin has come on to pitch. Boo, hummus, boo. We don't like hummus, boo. Thomas is overrated, boo. Uh, but Alexander Benjamin does have back-to-back -back Ks. Now Mudcat Skelton up, and Skelton pinch hitting here. Okay, I'm with it. Going to ground out to the catcher. Three up, three down for the um, Apex. It'll be the Space Rangers raking the lake, batting, and that is a strikeout swinging. One out, three one count. Arthur Morgan draws a walk. Stun gun still out there issuing the first walk. And then, oh, gun beans. Dog and Eminem didn't like that home run from earlier. Maybe they take stun gun out. Not yet. Now it's in change with a weak fly ball to right. That's not going to move any runners. One or two down, excuse me, in the bottom of the fifth. And Alvarez is going to ground out to the first baseman. So it is going to be stun gun working out of it there. Has given up four runs through five innings. Not a lot of run support, though. See if the offense of the Apex changes that. As Jew, the, the Jew is leading things off. Fly ball to the center. That is one down. Koala Kyle is up, and that is a shot. One hops the wall, and Koala Kyle is going to have a sliding two-bagger with one out. Curtis McKenzie up. Runner in scoring position, one out. Benjamin deals, and that is going to be an error. First error in the game, despite all the shook-up positions, but Milligan will strike out despite the runners at the corners. Cal Pico now with a clutch RBI time, and Pico's going to ground out to the 4-3 or four, three, out. So Apex are getting people on base, but uh, not capitalizing on it nearly as well as the Space Rangers. Still a zero run in their score column form. As Camino Holcavado's up, lines it directly to second base, heads up there, Reyes. And Jeff Newman will watch strike three looking in the bottom of the six. 3-0 count to cross Erickson. Taken all the way. That's a two-out walk as McThumper's on the bump, by the way, for the sixth inning. Blair Boyant with two down. Going to fly out to left field to end the inning. No runs across in the sixth for the Space Rangers. We go to the top of the seventh. Rich Cannell, bat and boom. Bat and DH leading things off. Swing and a miss on the 2-2 fastball, 103 miles per hour. Wait, that's illegal. How can he throw 103 miles per hour when the velo is 99 to 101? I think Hummus is rigging the league. That is going to be Elescu giving it a pretty good ride, but it's caught at the left field. I would too. You, you, yeah. You call the FBI, Slotface. Like, you call them. Tell them Dust sent you. They'll know. <laughs> Rake in the Lake is leading things off with a walk as Rake in the Lake does so so much on. And then that is getting over the third baseman's head. Is going to bounce fair. A double. Doesn't score Rake in the Lake, but Martha Morgan staying on second. Two runners in scoring position for Dog and Eminem. Already has a home run. This time he's going to fly it to right. Do they send the runner? No. 
they're scared of Pico's arm. And then Allison chain strikes out swinging. So Beta Chapler is going to, you know, maybe work himself out of it. 2-2 two, two count. And a commentator jinx the hell out of it. That is a shot to the right center wall. Cali Alvarez with a 2 RBI. Ooh, baby, it's a triple. 6-0 ball game in the bottom of the seventh. Scumino Holcavano strikes out to end the inning. Apex starting to run out of time here. We go to the top of the eighth, 0-6 ball game. Mudcat Skelton playing center field now was pinch hitting earlier. Up to bat. Skelton is going to ground out to break the lake at second. One down. Now Jew the, the Jew going deep. Does he have enough? Oh, yeah. Into the scoreboard and gone. Oppo Taco for Jew the, the Jew. Solo homer to put the Indianapolis Apex on the board for one. One out. It'll be Koala Kyle up next. Oh, I like that meme. I like that meme, Gumlin. I I had an idea for that meme for something for PPE. I can't remember what it was. It was like, oh, it was about the Space Rangers, but I'm not going to say it out loud. Bottom of the eighth we go as Buzz Lightyear uh, keeps the rest of the inning in check. It'll be Jeff Newman leading things off, and Newman is going to get out just barely. A little trouble handling it at first, but no problem eventually. As Tommy Vanderhonken gets out number two to fly out to center. Blair Boyant strikes out swinging on the full count. And we go to the top of the ninth. Indianapolis needs five runs as Milgan. Look at this, look at this, look at this in the top left. That's pitch number 12 by John Marston there to get Milgan out. Crazy. You always know Jenny's going to be a fighter. Cal Pico grounds out to the second baseman. That's two down. Rich Cano, Bannon, boom, last chance. Will be caught at the warning tracker just in front of it there by Arthur Morgan. Space Rangers take care of business in our first spring training game of S44. They win 6-1. to one. What's going on here? We got some Discord popping off. Oh. Let's take a look around the league. We got the Aviators winning big over the Crabs, eight to one. Sloss wins six to zero over the Voyagers. Buffalo Surge take down the Boise Raptors, three to one. It's going to be an eight to four victory for the Toronto Pathfinders over the Vancouver Vandals. Detroit Demons win three to two in a walk off over the Nashville Stars. The Cancun Toros go to extras, but score four in the top of the 12th to win against the Seattle Sea Serpents, 4-0. to zero. And the Death Valley Scorpions win 6-1 to one over the New Orleans Rougarou. And we pay out the winners. Let's just take a look ahead. Um, what, do we, what do we want to do next, folks, um, for games? We want to switch it over to the minor leagues? We want to do a little Firehawks game? Is that okay? Maybe? Maybe we do that next. Maybe we do a little Hawking. Firehawks me. Well, let's see who they're playing here. Um, we got State College. We got Bruce City. We got Amarillo. You just took an L. Ooh. We got Kansas City again. Louisville. Ooh, 12. Ah, it don't matter. 12 ERA was that like two runs in an inning and a third. Swifties Firehawks could be interesting. All right, I'm for it. We'll do that next. Get a prediction up if you could. Mods, we'll do Swift, Deeds, Swift Steeds and Firehawks. How's that? Speaking of, Swift Steeds winning 3-2 to two over the Kansas City Hepcats, despite them almost coming back here. It's going to be the Anchorage Wheelers knocking down the California Firehawks. Oh, wait, it's Slothsburg. What do you do? What do you do? Three innings, four earned. Ooh. Ooh. That's what you get for calling the FBI. Snitches get... Their ERA and play. I don't know where I was going with that one. Four Flamingos win 5-2 over the Louisville Lemurs. Amarillo Armadillos walking off in the bottom of the ninth. They win 6-5 over the Bruce City Bears. And the Puerto Rico Rounds put an 11-piece up on the Chicago Kingpins. And they win this one. 11-6. We're going to go to our next game. We'll, ju we'll just finish. Well, actually, we'll save first. Because I don't know. I have an advance today. It might crash. It might crash. It's probably going to crash. Do we do, like, over-under crash? Crash, Crash? yes or nah? That should have been the prediction. 
because yeah. Okay, one second, folks. Let's get that. Let's get that prediction up while I get the um sim engine back up and revitalize. Ah, I take that over all all days of the week. Take that over. Or under, under. That's what I meant. Know what I mean, not what I say. But it came back. Okay, we're back. See? Nothing changed. Nothing changed. We're good. We're good. I think the miners were good. So yeah, let's do it. Firehawks and Swift Steeds. We have a prediction. Who wins? We can do uh, we can do more fun. We can do fun predictions too, mods. You know, if you want to do like a partial prediction, like you know, um, who scores the first run, and then like, you know, will there be a run in the eighth inning and later? I don't know, something like that. We can we can have a little fun with it. Um, a lot of errors in spring training sometimes as well. But get your channel points wagered. You do hits, yeah. Hits are, yeah, sometimes kind of tough in the preseason, but or spring training. But yeah, let's save and get ready for our game. The Swifties and Firehawks doing battle. We should have watched that um, first Firehawks game. We could have had slot. We could have had all eyes on Slothsburg, right? All eyes on Slothsburg. Yeah, maybe we'll do a couple. We'll do a couple majors games, a couple minors games. We'll get some quick sims in here. Kind of, like I said, we'll just we'll just hang out. Okay, the prediction is closed. Let's get into it. Hector Roch, Rocha, Rocha, leading things off for the Firehawks. And Rocha is going to start out with a strikeout looking. Strike three. <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me. Trey Daniels strikes out as well. Two up, two down. Bones with two strikeouts. Archer is going to pop this one into foul territory. Caught by the left fielder. Out number three. All right, sorry, I had to cough. Uh, Cod Ruru leading things off, grounds it after the shortstop. That is one down. And then uh, fly out to left field for out number two. One, two count to Hayden Andrews Jr. Shout out to ABH. He uh, runs the update team in ISFL, if you didn't know. Oh. Well, if you wanted it to be pronounced like Rocco, why wouldn't you use a K instead of an H? Psh. Why don't you word like me? Anyway, Sino Slams grounds out to the fielder's choice. Bringing up Jeff Lumo, new fan. Yeah, tell him. Yeah. Yeah. You thought this was a fun stream where you could just gumdrop and rainbow your way through it? No. You have to listen to me telling you how to pronounce your player's name. <laughs> As my player's name is really dumb. <laughs> Hinkle McCringle Blair flies out to center. That's one down. Still no score in this one. Asaro gets State College as their first hit of the day. One on, one out for Boog Barrow. And that's a single between the shortstop and third baseman. So a little bit of traffic on the bases for Bill Pitt. Not to be confused with Brad Pitt. And that is going to be a fly out to center. Two down, 3 0 count for Yuppie. This is pretty much equivalent. Oh no. Oh no. And no crim will get the RBI leg legging out the infield single. No bid e no not crim. I'm not even trying. So Cod Raru is up and Raru is gonna bounce out to the second baseman for the fielder's choice. 
State College getting one across after loading the bases. You have to think. Dictator. Oh, man, you take that back, Gumlin. Why don't you go tell the dictator himself, um, Enoch, that we have a hostage situation on stream. Why don't you just DM him that and see, see if he, like, fires me finally. Matt Phillips strikes out for out number two, bringing up Raka. Strike three. <laughs> hey, Raffin, that's that's not necessary. I'm just we're just hanging out. This is spring training. I'm, I'm I gotta you know loosen up the vocal cords, even though I've been talking a lot today. No runs for the Firehawks through three innings. Nobody out for Adam Joy. is going to draw a walk on the full count. Bill Pitt's still out there pitching. Man, Pitt's going to get the lead runner at second. As Hayden Andrews Jr. grounds out. 2-0 count. That one looking pretty good. And Hingle McCringleberry over the left field wall and gone. State College with a two-run homer to make it a 3-0 ball game. They cheated. Yeah. Confirmed. Confirmed. Yep, they, yep, they cheat. I agree with Ralph. Oh, thanks. Vincent Asaro is going to start things off, or keep things going, I should say. It's already been started. And Boog Barrow is going to get a single as well, so back-to-back. -back. Kent's following that um, Hingle McCringleberry dinger. 1-2 count for Bradley Wellerman is going to fly out to right center. That is two down. State College with some more opportunities. UP is going to ground out into the fielder's choice. So State College getting about two runs, or getting exactly, not about, two runs exactly there on the two-run homer. Could have maybe gotten more, but they still have a 3-0 lead. Only one hit to this point for the Firehawks, but they're starting things out with a runner on base. Walk. I'll bring up Archer with a single up the middle. So now we got some traffic for California. See if Bones is going to stay out there, if you're going to pull him. 1-0 count to Sino Slam. Slams Grands into the 3-6-3 three, three double play. You don't see it turn too much here in this league, especially in the minors, but it happens, and Hemi Zen is going to fly out to right for out number three. So California with a walk and a hit cannot capitalize. Good defense for State College there in the infield. Remains 0-3 ball game. 3-1 count for uh, Nakram, and that is going to be a leadoff single. My least favorite MLB team, it's probably, it used to be the Red Sox, but it's the Dodgers. It's the Dodgers, yeah. Yeah, no, it's the Dodgers now. Joy, I'm going to ground things out. And then with two outs, Hayden Andrews is going to get an RBI single to make it a 4-0 ball game with two outs, a very clutch at bat there by Andrews Jr., two outs. It's going to be Hingle McCringleberry trying to go yard again, but it's going to hang up in center uh, Deathridge, who we're going to see up to bat here next inning, making the play on that. 4-0 is your score as we, go, as we go to the top of the fifth. What's going on, the worst gamer 43? Glad you could join the stream for the first time. Full count walk there by Tyler Deathridge is going to bring up Donovan Morgan, maybe related to Arthur Morgan, confirmed, yes or not. That is the lineup to right field for out number two. Phillips on the 3-1 is going to get this one past the second baseman. Runner will be safe at third. So we have runners at the corners. Two outs, 1-2 one, count. T-1000. This guy's still around? So wait, we have both of Matt Bakes creates playing? I thought T-1000 could not still be around, right? He retired. <laughs> anyway, Vincent Asaro is striking out swinging. That's one down. Boog Barrow, the DH is up. 2-2 count from Girk Biglet. And that is strike out number two for Biglet. Wellerman's up. And Wellerman giving this one a shot. That's going to bounce off the top of the wall. Wellerman's not stopping at two either. He's sliding headfirst into third, a two-out triple. So Yupi with an RBI chance. 1-2 count. Yupi will ground out to the second baseman. That is three outs. In the bottom of the fifth. We go to the top of the six, zero, four in our minor league spring training training exhibition match with Trey Daniels leading things off. Daniels giving this one a ride and gone. That's been a hot spot in the spring training. That scoreboard, you know, just over the left field wall, 375 or 379 feet. The solo shot from Trey Daniels puts the Firehawks on the board, 1 4, with nobody out in the top of the six. It'll be Archer up, another. Dan and Archer will line it to left. That is one down. 
Nagy. Oh, uh, pitcher, right? Or relief pitcher? Probably. Virum. I assume. Maybe. I don't know. I, I don't know the minor leagues as well as uh, Hemi Zen will end the inning with the line out. Nakrim up the bat. Grounds out to the shortstop. That's one down. Cod Raru. Ground out to the second baseman. Oh, starting pitcher. Nice. Nice, nice. Well, then you might be in the next couple games. We all... I'm just watching, too. I, you guys have to understand. Hummus is the one rigging it. I'm just watching it. He hacked my computer. I don't know. Because how could... I mean, that's kind of like... Can we, like, start us like, hashtag velocity gate? Like, how could he throw 103 miles per hour? I just want to... I just want answers. I just want answers. Full count, walk for Deathridge, another walk, and then a single up the middle by Donovan Morgan. A little one-out action here for the Firehawks. They trail by three. The runners on the corners, 2-1 count, and Phillips is going to ground out into the fielder's choice. Run does come across the score. 2-4 ball game with two outs in the top of the seventh. T-1000 up, full count, runner moving on the pitch, and it's going to be down the left field line. That's probably going to score the run, and it will. T-1000 sliding into second safely. Three to four ball game. Don't go anywhere, folks. 3-1 count for Trey Daniels. Had that home run earlier, and that's going to be a single. Do they send T-1000? No. They respect the arm of Wellerman. And on the 2-1 count, that single up the middle will score him. Daniel Archer ties this one up in the top of the seventh. 4-4 ball game with that hit up the middle. Runner does not get to third, though. Thrown out by the center fielder. That's why you never want the third out at third, kids, because if you would have been standing on second, a single probably would have scored him. Anyway, Eagle McCringleberry had a two-run shot earlier, is going to get a bloop single to, to left field. That's um, one on, nobody out. And then a full count walk from Vincent Asaro. As Conkling is in. The double steal! It works! Two runners in scoring position for Barrow. And that's an error. That's going to score one. And that's going to score both. Barrow standing on second. Now State College reclaims the lead 6-4 in the bottom of the seventh. That is going to be a single. Wellerman hitting this one. No RBI here, but we'll put runners at the corners. Strike UP strikes out swinging. That's one down. First one down as Conkling still out there. And that is going to be a 4-6 fielder's choice. Will count for the run. 7-4 ball game. So State College getting those three runs right back. Press X to doubt. What are we doubting? Oh. That I'm, are we doubting that, I, that I'm just watching too and not rigging the league? Adam Joy is going to fly out to center. Caught by Deathridge. And that is going to do it. 7-4 ball game here. Top of the eighth we go. X. Sinnoh slams the big, big hack. Maybe it was uh, way out front on that circle change. Three pitches, you're out. Bringing up Hemi Zen, checking the swing, and we'll get on base with a walk. This Neuromantics is still out there. And that is going to be a 4 6 fielder's choice by Jeff Lumo Newfan. Tyler Deathridge swinging the bat and striking out swinging. Out number three, we go to the bottom of the eighth. State College's Hayden Andrews Jr. leading things off. Yeah, no, you, we get some crazy, we get some crazy, crazy scores in spring training here. So yeah, fourteen to one, fifteen to one now. Woo, woo. And Hingle McCringleberry is going to have a single. That's not an error. That's a single. Takes off for second and safe. Whoa. Diving grab at third. What a play by T-1000. Bukbaro, though, trying to get a ribby single. And will do so. State hey. College now up 8-4. to four. Oh, one 1-2 count for Wellerman. And that's going to retire the side. Potentially the last inning of play. California needs four runs to keep this game alive. Hugs and kisses the dust. I don't know if you can say that. My girlfriend, she might attack you strike three or my cat those are the people that like her animals that like hug and hugs and kisses from me i don't know matt phillips flies out to right that's out number two t1000 the last hope for the firehawks 
grounds out to the second baseman to edit Kaspai. Takes care of business here. The State College Swift Steeds win 8-4 to four against the Firehawks in our second spring training game. Let's think of uh, what do we want to see next? What do we want to see? We saw a space. Let's go maybe do like a Legends matchup. Did we have a, did we have a, someone that wanted to see the Sloths maybe? Your first love should be PBE. Well, that could be true. That's that. That could be true. <laughs> Looking at the rest of the minors, it was the Bruce City Bears winning nine to three over the Kansas City Hepcats. Anchorage Wheeler is fifteen to one over the Ranas. Chicago Kingpins shutting out the Flamingos. Only four total hits for both teams, but Kingpins win two to zero. Yeah, no problem, Sloth Face. Uh, sorry, I'm sorry they didn't get the win. I uh, I just did. I didn't have a horse in the race. I guess um, so. I didn't do I and I didn't do my famous sub pixel manipulation. It's really tough to do for the live stream game, so I just don't really do it, you know. But I'm sure they'll get more wins if I do the the sub pixel manipulation. Louisville Lemurs win three to two over the Amarillo Armadillos, and we'll move over to the major leagues. All right. Oh, that's a pretty fast prediction here. That's pretty fast. We're, we're probably gonna do some quick sims first. We probably won't. Um, by de oh, there was a deep, there was a horse in the race. That's true. That's a good point. Um, we'll probably quick sim, but let's, you know, we'll we'll go ahead to, or we'll we'll do a game here, maybe in ten minutes. I'm just gonna. We got we got like, you know, I mean, we have what, ten days to go through still. So, you know. We'll get there. Major League action time. It's going to be the Boise Raptors winning 10-2 to over the Vancouver Vandals. Took extras, but the Providence Crabs walk it off over the Sloth 6-5. to Toronto Pathfinders win 5-2 to over the Outer Banks Aviators. And the Voyagers will win 2-1. to Go ahead running late in the game on the 8th to win over the Buffalo Surge. Um, yeah, I mean, we could do... Just, I don't know how. Um, we we can do over and under hits or something like that. But um, it's just like I said, I probably won't do another like live streamed out game for like ten fifteen minutes. So you could do like a you know in a few minutes, just do like a ten minute prediction or whatever, something like that. No big deal. Indianapolis Apex win three to two. They're back in the win column. Big win over the. Tough Death Valley Scorpion squad. Detroit Demons win 4-1 to over the New Orleans Ruru. And then 17-inning game. Seattle Sea Serpents win 4-3 to of the Stars. Cancun Toros win 3-2 to over the Space Rangers. So, yeah. Um, how far? We, we usually go to the first off day. So we're going to go through April 3rd. That's gonna, This is going to be our last sim day, and I think majors and minors line up. Let's help make, make sure, Chad, I don't accidentally quick sim the whole season, right? That would be funny, but uh, do it. On, it's funny to do it in the offline file, not the online file. Um, all right, let's just do a save, and we'll do some quick simming. No, soft face, no. Then you're going to actually have to call the FBI on me. Let's check things out. The Pathfinders win 7-5 over the Providence Crabs. 7-3 victory for the Outer Banks Aviators over the Boise Raptors. San Antonio Sloss win 6-1 over the Buffalo Surge. And the New York Voyagers are going to take down the Vancouver Vandals 7-1. It's more fun. <laughs> yeah, I suppose. Isn't that mean, I don't think a hostage situation is ever fun. Um... Unless is that Stockholm syndrome? I don't know. Uh, eight to two victory for the Space Rangers over the Nashville Stars. Cancun Toros win six to two over the Indianapolis Apex. Look at all those home runs in that one. I mean, it was higher scoring, but not that high for like five, well, six total home runs between the two teams. Uh, New Orleans Rougarou walk it off in the bottom of the eighth. They went five to two over the Seattle Sea Serpents, and the Death Valley Scorpions will win eight to five over the Detroit Demons. You. <laughs> <laughs> frequent snitching card getting a lot of punches <laughs> that's true that's true what happens when you when you use up all the punches on the FBI punch card <laughs> do you get like a free swat <laughs> anyway <laughs> don't swat me please um, Swiss Seeds win 7-6 to six over the Puerto Rico Ranas 
Anchorage Wheelers went 4-0, shutting out the Florida Flamingos. California Firehawks and... Um, oh, look at me. Where? What'd you do? What'd we do? Huh? Huh? Did you start? Did you start that game? Oh, let's go. Just uh, six earned runs. All right. Free sandwich. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> um, but hey, a win's a win. Firehawks get the win here over Bruce City. Kansas City Hepcats are going to win 10 to 5 over the Amarillo Armadillos, and the Louisville Lemurs shutting out the Kingpins. They'll win 3 to 0. Big win, big win. All right, let's keep things rolling. But uh, you know, if you guys want to see any other teams here, we saw the Apex and um, Space Rangers, as well as the Firehawks and Swift Seed. So um, maybe next game we'll do a Majors game. Then we'll do another Miners game and call it a night. You know, we'll probably stream for like another hour or so. Looks like everyone in the Legends is playing everyone else until... I don't know, then it kind of goes back to the beginning. Okay, so the, it all stays within the conferences. We could we could watch a Toronto game. Um, what would be a good one? You know, we got the Sloss Pathfinders, but let's just push one out in the future. Um, we want to do Sloss Voyagers, maybe, or we could do like Sloss Aviators, maybe one of those two. Or no, we said Toronto. Whoa. <laughs> Somebody said... Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Somebody said Toronto. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's today. Mm -hmm. I feel like the Sloths and Pathfinders have to play each other at some point, right? Am I just skipping? Oh, there it is. We can do this one. We can do this one. It's kind of toward the end, but... semi fun. I honestly don't watch Tahini. I don't. I don't. But we could do, because somebody wanted the sauce earlier on. But we could do Buffalo too. Doesn't matter. Whatever whatever people want. I'm good with playing playing out a Toronto game. I saw Rabbit in the chat earlier. Not sure if he's still lingering. But it looks like it's going to be a Legends matchup either way. So basically pick a team and we'll probably play it. So Toronto and someone. Let's do another quick sim here. And then we'll get a prediction up. Uh, for, uh, yeah. Um, and miners are still on track. Yeah, they're all, they're usually lined up pretty good. All right, we keep it up with the quick sim and Outer Banks Aviators went in ten to six over the New York Voyagers. Oh, they don't have write ups. That's interesting. Interesting. Okay. Wait. Oh. Oh, I see. I wasn't scrolled down all the way. Vancouver Vandals win 7-4 of the Buffalo Surge. San Antonio Sauce win 4-2 over the Toronto Pathfinders. Maybe we'll watch that game later on. I just want a little break from the... <laughs> Imagine. Yeah, well, depending on who you ask, that might be the real season. So we got a prediction up over under hits for the next game. I think it's going to be like Toronto and... Um, yeah, we'll do like Toronto and San Antonio maybe the next one so see who gets the better of whom yeah aviators win 10 to 6 over the voyagers providence crabs win 5 to 4 over the boise raptors it'll be the nashville stars winning 5 to 4 over the indianapolis apex 14 to 6 win for the space rangers over the new orleans rougarou cancun toros 11 to 4 victory for them over the death valley scorpions and the detroit waking the demons win 7 to 4 over seattle Hmm, what would happen? That you know, that sounds like a really good um championship week task or whatever, like sim A. Um They would die? No, I'd think a like a major this team like okay, we'll just look at the aviators for example. Like this team would probably be pretty good in a major sim. Like they would probably be pretty good. 
The only thing is the pitching would get weird. So the pitching might kill him. You'd have to do something with the pitching because the stamina is a little bit different for our league. But like an injuries off MLB sim, probably be probably do okay for the like depending on the team. Anyway, we'll go back. Astros versus Aviators, yeah. The entire AL Central. Yes. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Miners games. We do a little quick sim in, and it's going to be the Dillos win it over the Firehawks 8 to 2. Florida Flamingos win 13 to 8 over the State College Swift Steeds. Kansas City Hepcats are going to take down the Louisville Lemurs 6 to 2. Bruce City Bears win 7-0 over the Puerto Rico Ranos. And it took 12 innings, but the Anchorage Wheelers stay undefeated. They win 2-0 over the Chicago Kingpins, uh, despite getting out hit. But that would be a fun champion. You know, we could suggest that, like, okay, play a whole season with your preferred PBE team as a an expansion, and how do they do against other majors teams? That would be kind of funny. But the pitching would have to be adjusted. You might have to, like, absorb some minor league pitchers or something like that. All right. We'll keep things moving, and I think the next game will play out here. Um... We'll do this one. We'll do this one. We got a couple good pitchers going off. We'll do that one. Isn't this isn't this Rabbit's picture? Isn't this Rabbit? What can I say except you're welcome? So all the pressures on Rabbit then. Much, much more much more enjoyable for me to watch outside looking in. <laughs> Alright. We keep it we keep it going here. We've got a victory for the Outer Banks Aviators. They're up to four and one in the preseason. Six to four game, although the Buffalo almost came back there toward the end. Ooh, that's a good one, Gumlin. San Antonio Sloss win nine to four over the Vancouver Vandals. The or nine to two over the Vandals. The Toronto Pathfinders win nine to one over the Boise Raptors. And the Providence Crabs are gonna take down the Voyagers six to four. Toros five and zero. Oh, they're gonna win three to two over the Nashville Stars. Death Valley Scorpions walk it off in the bottom of the ninth. They win three to two over the Seattle Sea Serpents. Indianapolis Apex win 3-1 to one over the New Orleans Rougar Room. And Detroit taking down the Lunar Base Space Rangers 6-1. to one. In the minor leagues we go to the Quick Sim. Hepcats win 3-0 to zero over the California Firehawks. Chicago Kingpins win 1-0 over the State College Swift Steeds. So a couple shutouts here. Puerto Rico Ranas win 5-1 to one and... Oh, Time is winding down. Over under total hits in this upcoming game. It'll be like Sloss Pathfinders. Both of them. Yeah, I mean, Toronto's got an offense. So, I mean, that over looks pretty good. You got like two seconds. Three, two, one. And it's over. Puerto Rico round is 5 to 1 victory over the Dillos. Anchorage Wheelers went 4 to 2 over the Louisville Lemurs. And Bruce City Bears win over the Florida Flamingos. 5 to 3. Anchorage still undefeated here. We do some more quick simming up in here. And it's going to be the Boise Raptors winning 3-1 over the San Antonio Sloths. Toronto Pathfinders winning 9-3 over the New York Voyagers. Providence Crabs win 9-3, another 9-3 game over the Buffalo Surge. And the Outer Banks Aviators are going to take down the Vancouver Vandals 4-2. Death Valley Scorpions win 9-8 over the Nashville Stars. Indianapolis Apex with a big 14 can we do a game? Yeah, we could. Well, we already did a Firehawks game, didn't we? I usually try to pick like one of every team, you know, um, throughout the preseason or spring, spring training. But look at that, fourteen to zero over the Demons. Apex Bats coming alive. Space Rangers win seven to two over the Sea Serpents, and the Rougarou 
make the Toros undefeated in the preseason no more. They win six to five. Florida Flamingos are going to win 8-3 over the Amarillo Armadillos. Puerto Rico Ranas win 6-1 over the Kansas City Hepcats. State College knocking off the Wheelers 4-1 four four victory for them. Wheelers no longer undefeated. I don't think anyone's ever been undefeated in spring training. I could be wrong, but I don't think so. And it took extra innings, but the Firehawks get a win over the Lemurs in the bottom of the 10. So look at that. A lot of line. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Um, but yeah, look at that. One to one inning in the top of the tenth, and the Firehawks score two to not only tie it, but win it all. And then three runs in the bottom of the night for the Kingpins to walk it off against the Brew City Bears. Wow. Drama drama. All right, we'll do a couple more of these, and then we'll get into our next matchup. Pathfinders and Sloss, and then maybe we'll do, like, I don't know. Does anyone have a minor leagues team suggestion for, like, the 3rd of April? Um, any of these matchups look good? Just thinking ahead a little bit. We do, like, Flamingos and Wheelers, maybe. Lemurs, Kingpins. I'm good with that. I'm good with that. Did I save? I think so. Doesn't matter. It's free. All right, we have the Pathfinders going to extras against the Buffalo Surge. They win six to or seven to six, excuse me, in the top of the tenth. Sloss shut out the Aviators thirteen to zero. Look at that one hit allowed by San Antonio in this one. Boise Raptors win three to or seven to three over the New York Voyagers, and the Providence Crabs are going to win twelve to one over the Vancouver Vandals. National Star is winning this one eight to three over New Orleans. Seattle Sea Serpents back in the win column. They win eight to four over the Indianapolis Apex. Cancun taking down Detroit five to one, and the Death Valley Scorpions are going to win six to two over the Lunar Base Space Rangers. Let's do a little more Simmon. Wheelers win 6-4 to four over the Brew City Bears. Kingpins win 1-0. Low scoring game as low as it gets over the Amarillo Armadillos. State College Swifties win 6-1 to one over the Louisville Lemurs. And the California Firehawks Puerto Rico Ranas game 13-1 in favor of Puerto Rico. Kansas City Hepcats are going to win this 4-3 contest over the Florida Flamingos. And that is this day's spring training games for the minors. March 30th we go as we march along. <laughs> that was bad. I should be I should be banned from the league just for that joke. Should be banned. <laughs> All right. Let's stick to it. Pathfinders winning 10 to 1. Look at that. Eight runs in the top of the ninth. Big win over the Vandals. The Aviators are going to win 7 to 3 over the Providence Crabs. New York Voyagers walk it off in the bottom of the ninth over the San Antonio Sauce. They're going to win 4 to 3. And the Boise Raptors walk it off in the bottom of the tenth. Look at that. Look at that. They got six runs in the eighth, ninth, and tenth. You know, two in the bottom of the ninth to tie it, take it to extras, and a run in the bottom of the tenth to win it over the Buffalo Surge. Wow, that's a big stretch of run scored there. 15-3 victory for the Space Rangers over the Indianapolis Apex. Cancun Toros win 5-1 over the Seattle Sea Serpents. Detroit, with five runs in the 8th and 9th, are going to win in a... Um, that is a walk-off. That is a walk-off, yeah. 6-3 victory for them over the National Stars. Must have been a home run or something. And then the Death Valley Scorpions win 7-4 over the New Orleans Rougarou. Minor League matchups we go, and it's going to be State College winning 5-4 to four of the Brew City Bears. Firehawks win 6-2 to two over the Florida Flamingos. Chicago Kingpins 11-0 victory over the Kansas City Hepcats. Puerto Rico Ranas 11-0 victory over the Louisville Lemurs. And then a 13-3 win for the Anchorage Wheelers over the 
Amarillo Armadillos. <laughs> we keep things schmoving. Last day of March. We're going to do a couple more. Then we're going to go into this game. DePoyo, accept your welcome. A premier pitching matchup could potentially... I mean, it's highly possible that this is a matchup of the of a one and four seed maybe mayhaps to be determined we'll see not if not if like i mean buffalo providence new york have anything to say about it. we'll see if san antonio can get in the playoffs this season i think they might be due We do some more quick sending. San Antonio Slaw shutting out the Providence Crabs. 2-0 victory for them. Look at that. Look at that. Common to Pots and L. Am I right? Common to Pots and L. That guy's a loser. That's why I got the L. <laughs> loser. You ever heard the Static X song, I'm With Stupid, you know? From their Wisconsin Death Trip album. Oh, he's a loser. Anyway. 7-0 uh, victory for the Toronto Pathfinders, shutting out the Outer Banks Aviators. Boise Raptors are going to win 6-1 over the Vandal, uh, Vandals of Vancouver. And the Buffalo Surge had been on a bit of a slide there. They walk it off in the bottom of the 10th, winning 12-11 over the New York Voyagers. See, I think Slawface, you, Slaw you understood that reference, right? You, you, like, like, you're, you're like you're a casual Static X enjoyer like I am. A uh, 9-4 victory for the Cancun Toros over the Lunar Base Space Rangers. Detroit Demons and Rougarou. It goes in favor of New Orleans. They win 2-1. Death Valley Scorpion is going to win 2-1 over the Indianapolis Apex. You got me? All right, appreciate it, appreciate it. And the Seattle Sea Serpents with four runs in the 8th and ninth are going to win over the Nashville Stars 5-3. You know, we don't have a Wisconsin team in the PBE, do we? Hmm. That'd be fun. Like, a, like, a, like we get a little Green Bay team, maybe? Or like a Madison? That'd, that'd be kind of fun. All right. Minor league action we go. And it's going to be the Louisville Lemurs. Or the Weemers with the W. Please, no. <laughs> yeah. That'd probably be too much. I don't know if... I don't know if there'd be enough... Um, yeah, I don't know. There's probably not enough uh, bush light in the state of Wisconsin to support the PBE. Um, <laughs> four runs in the bottom of the ninth for the Louisville Lemurs to win it over the Bruce City Bears. Or wait, is Bruce City, is that in Wisconsin actually? Hold on, I never... They might be in Wisconsin now that I think about it. Oh, yeah, no, I messed up. Hmm. That's all right. Oh, no. <laughs> Well, we're going to petition to remove Brew City. Wisconsin cannot have a team. It'd be like, I mean, just imagine like Ohio having a team. Am I right? Um, California Firehawks win 4-3 to three over the Chicago Kingpins. I really don't have anything against Ohio. It's just the memes. I don't know. Anchorage Wheeler shutting out the Kansas City Hipcats 3-0. to zero, And the Florida Flamingos are going to win 6-1 to one over the Puerto Rico Ranas. State College, with three runs in the top of the ninth, take down the Amarillo Armadillos 9-6, to because they're working 9-6. to six. That's uh, Dolly Parton. But, like, I didn't want to sing it that good, because, like, I don't want to get DMCA'd. You know how it'd be. You know how it'd be. All right. Next game coming up here soon. We'll do a back to back, and then we'll probably call it a probably call it a night here. Uh, I think we're going to do Pathfinders and Sloths because we did a Champions matchup earlier with the Apex and um, Space Rangers, and then we'll switch it over to the um, what'd we say? What'd we say? Uh, Lemurs Kingpins was that the other one? Yeah, I think so. I'm good with that. They got a new third baseman. Oh yeah, I think yeah. Gaming, you wanted you wanted to watch the sloss there, so we're we're doing it. We're doing it, babe. We're doing it. Personal investment. All right. Just as long as that investment isn't in crypto. I'm not a financial advisor, so you can invest in crypto if you want. 
but I'm not a financial advisor. I don't know. I, I don't know the stipulations. Anyway, to the moon, baby. Speaking of to the moon, Providence Crabs walk it off in the bottom of the 10th, a couple runs in the 9th to tie it up, and um, yeah, that's going to be, despite the two home runs from Mo Love, shout out to Loki, former Crab, um, and Hall of Famer, two-time Hall of Famer, James Love and Will Love, both Hall of Famers. Outer Banks Aviators win 9-2 to over the Boise Raptors. Vancouver Vandals are going to win 4-3 to over the New York Voyagers. And the Buffalo Surge take down the San Antonio Sloths 12-8. to New Orleans Ruger are having a pretty good preseason compared to their um, you know, regular season expectations in last season. 1-0 shutout over the Seattle Sea Serpents. Detroit Demons win 4-2 to over the Death Valley Scorpions. And the Nashville Stars are going to win 6-1 to over the Lunar Base Space Rangers. Indianapolis Apex knocking down a tough Cancun team. 7-3 to victory for, for them Zoomy boys. We go to the minor leagues. We do a little quick simming. And we have the Swiss Thieves winning 6-5 to over the Kansas City Hepcats. I was just checking something there, but yeah, it, 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 I don't know. The numbers messed with my eyes there for a second, but it was not a walk-off. But they held on to the lead despite Hepcat scoring five runs in the eighth and ninth combined. Firehawks win 3-0 to zero over the Wheelers. Good shout-out for any um, Firehawk enjoyers in chat. I'm not sure if we've seen any tonight, but there might be. they might be out there. Who knows? Who really knows? Uh, Dillos win 5-3 to three over the Brew City Bears that are not in Wisconsin, right? Uh, Florida Flamingos going to take down the Lemurs 6-4. to four. We're going to see the Lemurs here up next. And the Chicago Kingpins, or not next, uh, upcoming, next in terms of minors games. And the Chicago Kingpins are going to win 6-4 to four over the Puerto Rico Ranas. Let's get into it. We haven't done a game in a while. I'm tired of the box scores. I think you all at home are as well. So let's see some action. We've got... An advance day. We've got a save. We've got Toronto Pathfinders, San Antonio Sloss, DePoyo, except you're welcome. Who's going to come out on top? Pretty good matchup. Sloss, if you live for box scores, honestly, I like the box scores more than the games, but don't tell Hummus that. Um, <laughs> well, he already knows. This, this is a divisional matchup, so it's a fun one to watch. Could be, like I said, potentially a 1-4 matchup at the playoffs, just depending the Legends is a pretty tough conference all around. Can we come out? No. What? No, there's no... Nobody's in the basement. Nobody's in the basement. Nobody's in the... The only thing in the basement's my cat. And he's not locked there. He's not locked down there, guys. So he, that's just where his food is. They're going to tell Hummus. Oh, no. FBI FBI is getting overtime this, this, this night of streaming here. <laughs> uh, all right we, what we have for prediction it was over under uh 14 and a half hits uh, correct me if i'm wrong 14 and a half hits so we could count it off in chat it's kind of fun to do let's get it going po to poyo pitch into dinamite first pitch happening right meow speaking of cats dinamite grounds out to the shortstop to start things off here no problem for fresca that's going to be Mills playing catcher. Yeah, uh, have a good din-din, as the kids say. I don't know if they say that, actually. Just, just, oh, I hope dinner's good. How about that? I don't know what to say. Zach Johnson Jr. strikes out. One, two, three. The Pathfinders bats. They go. Strike three. Ozzy Albies up. And O2 oh, strike out. Called. One down for the Sloss leadoff batter. Big Vito. Retired. Dagumpa, the, uh, I think still the Hepcats GM there. New create upcoming, I'm sure. Going to get a single old man veto. He gets it done. We have a 6-4 fielder's choice that Zane Cold's going to ground into. One on, two out for all too well. Ten minute version of the Death Valley Scorpions now with a Sloss jersey. Pops out in shallow right field. Three down. Only one hit with the Sloss. No runs for either team. We go to the top of the second. Loud crack of the bat for Josef Pilsudski, and that is going to be a double, no, a triple sliding head first in there safely. So just a sack fly away, and back in college, you know, they called me the sack king. Um, Strike three. I, I, never mind. And <laughs> Brinkley Jr. strikes out. Mo Love strikes out, so no sacrifice fly in play. Two down for Lewis. Lewis needs a single, but lines out to center field, so... DePoyle gives up a lead-off triple, but 
Pilsudski is going to hang out on third base, can't score. Bottom of the second we go with Lenny Longpipe leading things off, lining it out directly to Mo Love at center, one down. That is going to be Don Marcus grounding out. Great play at shortstop by Jeff Lewis, two down. And then Luigi Lanakai grounds out to the third base. I think my first player I did like lead the league in sack flies and I was like hey you know I was like in my you know team locker room I was like hey you know they call me the sack king baby because I think I did lead the league in sacrifice flies like my in, in like one of my second or third seasons on the crabs there with my first player that's right that's right someone's got to do it and that is going to bounce off the wall. Right fielder gets it in quick, but is going to be a stand-up double with two outs for Dinamite. Only the second hit in this one, three total hits. But Kendrick Mills is going to make that four total hits and is going to have an RBI single. Right. Scoring Namite, 1-0 lead now for the Pathfinders. Some clutch two-out hitting by the Toronto squad. And the hits keep coming, and they don't stop coming. <laughs> Zach Johnson Jr. with a single to center. And that's a gap shot to left center. DePoyo starting to crack here a little bit. That is going to be a two RBI double with Pilsudski getting to third. Three to zero ball game. Oh no, they call him out at third, actually. Never want to get the third out at third, but the runs do count nonetheless. Three to zero lead for the Pathfinder Sloss, bottom of the third. Maybe they can get those back. Fresca leading things off. It's going to be a foul out to left. That's one down. Now Bartholomew Brown, 0-2, tries to check a swing, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. That's out number two. Bring up Osmandy's Albies, lefty on lefty matchup. What can I say except you're welcome, getting the better of it. Oh, three pitches or four pitches, and you're out. Toronto going to the top of the fourth with a 3-0 to zero lead. Harvey Brinkley Jr. leading things off. Brinkley Jr., the switch hitter batting left, is going to strike out swinging. That'll bring up... We all know him. We all love him. Mo love him. And that is going to be a strikeout from Love. So DePoyo calming down a little bit. Full count for Jeff Lewis. Drives it up the middle. Turns that fastball right back where it came from. Two out base hit. Bob Catter's up. Full count. Catter will draw the walk. So they're seeing some pitches from DePoyo now. See how long he stays out there. 1-2 count, and not a 6, and it's going to ground out to the shortstop, who dumps it over to second, out number 3. So, DePoyo ends up working out of it. No runs here for the path runners, despite a little bit of base uh, traffic. Bottom of the 4th with Big Vito bleeding things off, and he will strike out swinging as they throw it around the horn. Only one total hit for the Sloss through 3 and a 3rd. Zane Cold will also strike out swinging. What can I say except you're welcome? What can I say? You're pitching a gem here in spring training. Two outs in the bottom of the fourth. And all too well, Tim Everson is going to pop out in foul territory to the catcher. Out number three. We're through four. Three zero lead for the Pathfinders. Sloth stymied up to this point. D Namite is going to lead things off. 0 2 count swinging as the Poyo is still out there. Still out there. Still dealing. But did uh, kind of have that uh, three-run third, which is maybe going to cost him the game. As Kendrick Mills gets a hit, second hit of the day for Mills. Now full count. Poyos out there going to get a fly out there to center by Zach Johnson Jr. Two down, runner on first. Pilsudski pops this one to the pitcher. Usually don't have the pitcher making too many plays out in the field like that, but takes care of business himself. Top of the fifth is over. We go to the bottom of this inning. San Antonio trying to get something going. Long pipe is a little, a little tired. He's a little, he's sweepy like me. One one count to Don Marcus. Loud off the bat, but it hangs up there. No problem at all for center fielder Mo Love. One zero count for Luigi Lanakai with two down, and Lanakai bounces out to the third base. And these sloss bats cannot, not, 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 not get things going. Too high. Yes, that is what. Uh, well. No comment. Never mind. Strike three. Harvey Brinkley Jr. Two two count strikes out swinging as Wendy Marvell entered the game here for the Sloss. And Mo Love's gonna get a hit first hit of the day. So one on one out for Jeff Lewis and Lewis gets this one to the right field wall. One hops the wall. Right fielder trying to get it in. Mo Love round and third head for home save. So Love scores all the way from first base. RBI double. For Jeff Lewis, 4-0 ball game in favor of the Pathfinders now. 
And on the 0-2, not a six and strikes out swinging. It is a 4-0 ball game after Toronto scratches across another one. San Antonio's would kind of enter this last, you know, half third of the ball game, you know, 40%, whatever, you know, fractions, they're a thing. Um, they're starting to run out of time. As Fresca grounds out, Bartholomew Brown strikes out swinging. What can I say except your welcome is on cruise control, baby. Osmandy's Albies grounds out of the shortstop. One, two, three. These boys ain't even not even seen any pitches here. And that will do it. Only 55 total pitches through six innings for what can I say except your welcome. And the Pathfinders offense figuring it out. That is a leadoff dub step and double by Dinamite. Kendrick Mills now batting with the runner in scoring position. And Mills is going to get this one squeaking past the third baseman there. And they trade places. RBI double by Kendrick Mills. Second RBI of the day. 5-0 lead for the Toronto Pathfinders. Zach Johnson Jr. is going to pop up in foul territory. Catcher makes the play there. That's one down. Josef Pilsudski strikes out looking. Two outs now. Bringing up Harvey Brinkley Jr. And Brinkley Jr. Fly ball to right, but it is caught. One, or final out of the seventh. We go into this seventh inning stretch. We only have, we have 12 hits total. So 14 and a half was the over under. Will it be reached? Find out. And then, uh, Maz, if you want to get up another prediction going for the, uh, what was it, Lemurs, Kingpins? No. It was Lemurs game. As we've got a Zane Cold one out triple, that 25 speed working overtime. Sloss with only their second hit of the game, but maybe they're starting to rally here as 10 minute version draws the walk. One, two count to long pipe. Driving this one might be enough for a sack fly. They send the runner. Save. So the slots are on the board for one. It's one to five with two outs in the bottom of the seventh. There is a runner on first for Don Marcus at third base, but Marcus strikes out swinging as Ermintrot gets him to go down. Top of the eighth we go. Five to one game here. Toronto in the lead looking to add on some more. 13 total hits. So then overs. I mean, I would, I would, you know, I mean, I wouldn't feel uncomfortable if I was an under, but I'd feel a little nerve nerve. 1-1 one, one count here to Jeff Lewis, and that is a hit. Lewis having a really good game. Three total hits in this one. One on, one out for Bob Catter. And Catter's going to ground out into the 3-6, but not back to the three in time. Uh, fielder's choice, two down. Not a six and flies out to center, and that is out number three. We go to the bottom of the eighth. San Antonio trailing by four. Luigi Lanakai up. We're at 14 hits. Next one hits the over, and we hit the over in a big banging way. Solo home run from Luigi Lanakai. Pay that over, boys. Two to five now. San Antonio getting uh, another one here. Still trailing by three, though. Antonio Fresca is going to be up next. Nobody on, nobody out. Fresca flies out to center field. That's one down. Bartholomew Brown up, and Brown is going to ground out to the shortstop. Great play by Jeff Lewis, who's having a hell of a game. Osmandy's Albies up, and Albies is going to fly out to left. That is out number three. Sloss get one on the homer from Lanakai, but still trailing by three as we head into the ninth. Top of the inning with Toronto's Dinamite leading things off. Namite draws the walk as Camaro's entered the game. Yeah, Mods, we want to do a little prediction payout, maybe? Nice. We can pay it out while the game's going. It's cool. I mean, there's there's no way to get fewer hits in baseball than what you've already attained, right? As Kendrick Mills gets a double, scoring Namite. Mills with four hits and an RBI. Or a few RBIs. Strike three. Zach Johnson Jr. strikes out looking. Still runner in scoring position for Josef Pilsudski. And Pilsudski gap shots this one. I think he's had a couple doubles here. We were waiting on an appeal. <laughs> I, I I, mean, I, I feel pretty safe about it being over 14 at this point. Toronto might hit it on their own at this point. Harvey Brinkley Jr. grounds out to the second baseman. And then Mo Love will end the ninth with a fly out to center. Bartholomew Brown reels it in. So Toronto getting a couple here. They have a five-run lead as we go into the bottom of the ninth. San Antonio Slots, Big Vito starting things off. Big Beetle lines it directly to center. That's one down. Strike three. 
Full count for Zane Cold strikes out as Mars entered the game to shut the door. And with two outs, 10-minute version's up, and all too well 10-minute version. Grounds out to the third baseman. Toronto Pathfinders wins this spring training matchup 7-2 over the San Antonio Sloths. Let's take it around the league. We have the Outer Banks Aviators winning 5-1 to over the New York Voyagers. Toronto Pathfinder. Oh, we saw that one. We saw that one. And the uh, Boise Raptors walk it off over the Providence Crabs in the bottom of the 12th, 6-5. to Vancouver Vandals are going to win 6-3 to over the Buffalo Surge. New Orleans Rougarou win 7-6 to over the Lunar Base Space Rangers, walking it off in the 9th. Detroit Demons win 4-0, to zero, shutting out the Seattle Sea Serpents. And the Indianapolis Apex win 5-2 to two over the Nashville Stars. Death Valley Scorpions win 7-2 to two over the Cancun Toros. And yeah, Mods, if we get another prediction for the minor league game we have coming up next, that'll be the last one of the night. I think we're going to do... We're going to do this one, right? Louisville, Chicago. So if we could get that rolling, that would be much appreciated. Checking out these scores. The Firehawks are going to win 2-0 over the State College Swift Steeds. Florida Flamingos are going to win 6-1 over the Chicago Kingpins. Lemurs taking down the Dillos 4-1. And the Puerto Rico Ranas are going to win 6-1 over the Anchorage Wheelers. Kansas State Epcots win 9-2 over the Brew City Bears. What we'll do is we'll just quick send the majors and then we'll play out the minors game. Do we, do, do, did the prediction not come up? What's going on? First to Homer. Ooh. 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 All right. Let's get these games going. And then we will start watching um, Lemurs and Kingpins. It's going to be the Outer Banks Aviators winning 11, or 12 to 11, excuse me, over the Buffalo Surge. San Antonio Sloss. Get back in the win column. They win 7-1 over the Vancouver Vandals. Voyagers put a 13-piece up on the Crabs. They went 13-1. And the Toronto Pathfinders are going to win 12-3 over the Boise Raptors. I like the changeup. I like the prediction. It's a good one. New Orleans Ruger walk it off in the bottom of the 10th. They're going to win 10-9 over the Indianapolis Apex. 11-1 victory for the Space Rangers over the Detroit Demons. Nashville Stars are going to win... 9-3 over the Cancun Toros. And Death Valley takes down the Sea Serpent 6-2. Alright. Give me a minute or so to catch my breath. But we're going to get into this game here with um, Mata and Picora Pitching against each other. Prediction is live. You got a couple minutes or so to, you know, predict who's going to be the first to homer, which team. Some on Louisville. We got some on Chicago. Mods, if you want to bet, I could, you know, if you want to bet for fun, mods, I can close the prediction too. Which team's the first home run? 
which team will win. <clears throat> we'll find out here in a second. First pitch coming underway from Pecora to Josh Allen. As we have a little bit more spring training before we finish off the night. Just going to kind of keep it short, folks, to like a two-hour stream or so here. Well, it might be like a little bit. It might be like an hour 45. Alaskan Bullworm with two outs is going to strike out swinging. And one, two, three, the lemur spats go. Chicago's Evanescence. Oh, yeah. Let me, I'll, yep, yep, yep. I forgot about that little nuance. Something. Oh, I did say something went wrong. Oh, that's weird. Two outs for Scotty, the man, the myth, the legend, Sterling. And he's going to get a two-out base hit, but Honk Ball is going to strike out swinging. <clears throat> All right, so every we got one person on each on each one we got. One on Louisville, one on Chicago, one on none. So someone's getting monies. Denstroke draws the walk, and then on 2-2, that's a bloop base hit by Archduke McCannon. Single over third. So runners on first and second with nobody out. Shrimp McDaniel, though, is going to strike out looking. That's not good. One out. Franco up, and Franco is going to go over the right field wall and gone. The Lemurs get our first home run in the game. That is a three-run blast to give them the lead. Let's go. All right. Louisville. Who, who, who predicted Louisville? Was that you, Luigi? Yeah, it was. Let's go. All right. Hey, if we want to do another prediction, I, I can do one here. I'll do another one. Double or nothing. Come on. Don't be a coward. I shouldn't feel like that. That's like major peer pressure. Um, all right, let's do this. Um, all right, let's do it. Two-minute prediction. Let's go. Over, under. Do we have a run in the ninth or not? As uh, It's the Chicago Kingpins scoring here. On the Al Capone single. And that ball to right field not deep enough for a sack fly. So will we have basically a run in the ninth? Over under half. As Jalexi Alexander is going to get a single. The score one. Two to three ball game now. And don't go anywhere. That is over the center fielder's head as Evanescence might have just given the Kingpins the lead. Note runner holds up at third. 3-3 three, three ball game. One out with two runners in scoring position. There haven't been that many errors, honestly. There haven't been that many errors. Blanco chokes because Pau is a choke artist. And Scotty, the man, the myth, the legend, Sterling cannot capitalize either. So Kingpins get those three runs right back on some small ball. No long ball. Um... I think they could have gotten a little bit more with all those hits, but it is a 3-3 ball game, effectively a 0-0 ball game. As we go to the top of third, Josh Allen leads things off with a single up the middle. I'm wait, what? Oh no, Attica! I didn't think you, uh, it was just a joke. It was it was just it was Minecraft. It was just Minecraft. It was just a joke on Minecraft. That's all. <laughs> Alaskan Bullroom with two outs, <laughs> strikes out swinging. Uh, and that is it for the top of the third. So no action here for the Lemurs offense. We go to the bottom of the third with Dave Honkball up. And Honkball is leading things off with a single to left. That'll bring up Kent Murphy the second. And, oh, we got a pass ball here. So run around second for Murphy the second. And has a ground out of the third baseman. One down. Simmons the third. Grounds out to the shortstop. Big... Big play there by Denstro. And on the full count, Al Capone draws the walk. So we got runners on first and second. Two outs. And that ball, deep, 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 and gone. Almost straight away center field by Tiger Dawson, the DH. 424 feet. It's 6-3. to three. Kingpins take the lead. We go to Jalexi Alexander, who had an RBI hit last time. But Alexander 
is going to fly out to center to end the third. Top of the fourth we go, Neller Denstro. Quite a great play at short, but uh, didn't save him any runs there. But Denstro, strike it out looking. That is three pitches, you're out. Maybe a little bit of a questionable call there. Not sure if Denstro agreed with that. 2-0 count for Archduke McCannon, and McCannon is going to fly out to center. That's two up, two down for the Lemurs bats. Shrip McDaniel now. 3-1 count, draws the walk, so making Pecora earn it. Franco, who had that home run earlier, hard ground ball to the first baseman, but it's snagged on a hop by Simmons the third, out number three. We go to the bottom of the fourth. Kingpin's trying to add to their three-run lead. They lead six to three. Wow, that's a lot of threes and sixes. Yeah, I don't know. That's, 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 those are numbers. Evanescence gets beaned by Mata there, and maybe Mata's day is about over. As that is, uh, that's going to hurt. Pedro Blanco lines out to right field. That's one down. And Scotty, the man, the myth, the legend, grounds out to the first baseman. Runner does get to second, and Honkball maybe drives him in here with a single up the middle. And, yes, Dave Honkball with an RBI single second hit of the day makes it a 7-3 ball game in favor of Chicago. And that ball grounded hard to the third baseman, whips it over to third, Hartman there. We're going to see up batting second next. Top of the fifth we go. Lemurs trailing by four with Cassius catch. Starting things off. Catch grounds out to the first baseman. That's a quick out number one. And then Hartman is going to bloop a single to the right, but oh no, he tries to stretch it into a double, and Scotty, the man, the myth, the legend, is taking him out on the throw. Josh Allen with two outs draws the walk. I bring up Carl Beatty Jr., and that looked like looked like the runner was moving or stealing. That is going to be a single runners at the corners. Alaskan Bullworm pops out to shortstop. No chance of scoring a run there. Bottom of the fifth we go as uh, Picora pitching pretty okay. Kingpins. Anthony Simmons the third leading things off. And Simmons the third with a single up the middle. That's, oh no, and an error is going to effectively make it a double there. So runner in scoring position for Al Capone. Has one RBI, but pops up to the shortstop. One down in the bottom of the fifth. Full count to Tiger Dawson, who had a big home run earlier. Grounds at the shortstop for out number two. Jalexi Alexander with the runner on third. One-two count. Strikes out swinging Martin Kratt. Taking care of business here in the bottom of the fifth. We go to the top of the six. Louisville's four, five, six hitters. Middle of the order set to go with Neller Denstro. Starting things off, and Denstro singles up the middle. One on. Nobody else starting the inning off in grand style as the... Great, uh, Joe Morgan would say. Shrimp McDaniel gets a single to left. That's runners on first and second, one down, and then uh, they're pitching around Javier Franco. Just get to that home run. Bases juice. That ball hot off the bat. That's going to bounce off the wall. That's good for extra bases. That's one RBI. That's two RBIs. And a base clearing double for Cassius Catch to make it a 6 to 7 ball game here with just one out in the top of the six. Zach Hartman's up as, whoa, catch wants more. That's a stolen third base. Now full count to Hartman. Hartman gives it a ride to center. Is it deep enough? No, no sack fly. Two outs for Josh Allen. Allen grounds out to first base counterpart. Four out number three. And the Lemurs getting three more runs here. Make it a six to seven ball game. Kingpins bottom of the six with Evanescence leading things off. And Evanescence will fly out to left. That is out number one. Attica, I never saw that DM. What the heck? What the heck? Oh, man, Pedro Blanco, hot off the bat, line drive home run. That one's through the scoreboard and gone. Oh, you know what? With all these home runs, I haven't even done the little home run thing. Come on, chat. you got to hold me accountable for that. I'm just, this is chat's fault, not my fault. Because that's what you do when you're a Twitch streamer. You, you blame chat. So, Kingpin's now with an 8-6 to six lead. Strikeout by Scotty, the man, the myth, the legend. And that is going to be a uh, single? I don't know what happened there. It was like a blooper in front of the catcher, and they didn't throw, the catcher didn't throw over. I'm not holding the chat hostage. The chat is holding me hostage. As Simmons the third with a double, two RBI doubles, scoring honk ball, and Kent Murphy the second all the way from first. Now a 10-6 to six lead for the Kingpins here in the bottom of the sixth. And Capone doesn't have the distance. Nope. 
fly out to right. That'll end the sixth inning. Some action here for sure. Top of the seventh we go with Billy McDowell playing left field, leading things off for the lemurs. And McDowell is going to get a single. And that is going to be another single. Back-to-back -back base hits with Denstro up. Nobody out, but Denstro pops up to shortstop counterpart. One down. McCannon on the one two is going to get an infield single I guess maybe the third baseman could have stepped on third but you never know Shrimp McDaniel bases juice is going to get robbed of a hit diving grab hey. by Kent Murphy the second can't quite throw out the runner there at home but sack fly does count 7-3 or 7-10 game for this one it's kind of a football score I guess lemurs get one as Javier Franco strikes out we go to the bottom of the seventh. Kinkin pins Tiger Dawson lean things up. Oh, Alt F4? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll try that one after the stream. Let's pre appreciate that, bro. That is going to be a fly out to center. Jalexi Alexander. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I did that to my dad once. He was he was in it. He didn't think it was as funny as I thought it was. He's like, I just lost all my Oh my, he has like 18,000 tabs open on the internet browser. And he's like, I just lost all my tabs. I'm like, we just, we just, but there's, it's fine. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, kingpins are scoring here. And that ball on the, um, I think it was Blanco, like Fielder's Choice. And that will do it, fly out to right. For the seventh inning, Kingpin scratch across the run, get that run back that the Lemurs got in the top of the inning. 11 to 7, or 7 11. I don't know. Can I say 7 11 on stream? There's literally, yeah, I know. I know. I know. I know. It wasn't a big deal. I didn't think it was a big deal. I was just kind of giggling. Um, Can we say 7 11 on stream, or is that copywritten? I don't know. Anyway, that's what the score is, though. Top of the eighth, one, two, three. The lemurs bats go see if the kingpins can add to it, but the lemurs are running out of real estate. And keep in mind, prediction is will there basically be a run in the ninth? Yes or no? Nah, over under 0.5 runs in the ninth. <laughs> yeah, tell your dad about up dog sometime. That's right. That's right. If you don't know about up dog, I don't know what to tell you. Now we got some excitement here. Nobody out. Bases juice. Al Capone. No home runs yet. Does have a hit in RBI. He's going to fly out to right. Do they try the sacrifice fly? No. So I'll bring up Dawson. Dawson does have a home run, but a strikeout swinging. Jalexi Alexander. Bases juiced. Gets a single to center. That's going to score one. That's going to score two. The Kingpins have now made it 13 to 7. Now, this is. <laughs> Maybe. And uh, Olda was stolen base there by. Simmons the third runs at the corners for Evan S and single up the middle is going to score one. It's now fourteen to seven. This is a football score. It's like a, it's like a Pittsburgh Steelers game or like a something. You know, Safe. Pedro Blanco up as Essence steals second and Blanco is going to ground this one back to the pitcher, ending the eighth. That could be it for the Kingpins bats. They put up a fourteen piece here against the Lemurs. Everyone coming to the yard and hitting. Louisville Lemurs up the bat. Have a bit of a deficit. William McDowell up first, and he's going to ground out to the Enoch. You've been here the whole time. You didn't. You didn't hear the whole part about like me holding the chat hostage, did you? Okay. And we got a runner on one out. Full count for Denstro. Flies out to right center. That's out number two. Archduke McCannon with two outs. Last chance for the Lemurs. One one count. McCannon. Lines out to center, so we pay the unders. No runs in the ninth. Game over. Kingpins win in emphatic fashion, fourteen to seven. Who who bet the under? Was it gaming while bald? I didn't admit it. I did. I admit nothing. Plead the fifth. Plead the fifth. <laughs> All right. Puerto Rico. Winning seven to zero. That's a football score too, technically. Um, <laughs> over the state college Swift Steeds, the Bruce City Bears go to extras. Walk it off in the bottom of the eleventh as they um, 
knock down the California Firehawks. Florida Flamingos win 9 to 1 over the Anchorage Wheelers and the Amarillo Armadillos win 5 to 3 over the Kansas City Hepcats. We've done about four games tonight. I think I'm going to call it there. We are at pretty much the uh loan off day in spring training, so we're going to just kind of save it here. Um upload to the index. Yeah, thanks. I I I sorry, I kept it a little short here. It's just kind of a you know, it's kind of a late day anyway, and it's spring training. We're just, we're just, we're just loosening things up a little bit. It's, it's all good, and uh, appreciate it, mods. I know um, there's some newer mods, I guess, so it's good to get some new folks in here. Um, yeah, but we'll upload the index unless you want me to, unless you want me to change anything on the file. I don't see any more sim errors, so I'm just gonna get out of it and let my main man Poe update it. You know, I'm going to just admit it right now. That 07, it took me a long time to figure out what that meant. Like, admittedly too long. You know, back in, you know, like, it, it. I was way too developed in my life to figure out what that meant. Oh, not game settings. I don't want to change the game settings. I want to upload. <laughs> Thanks, Goblin. Appreciate it. <laughs> I don't did I save guys? I don't remember. I think I did, but <laughs> stop! Oh no, you're harassing me. Now let's see the chat's holding me hostage, Enoch, and you're partaking in it. The league is against Dustalation. Confirmed. I deserve um TPE. I don't know. <laughs> mm-hmm. I've also been talking a lot today already for like, you know, work. Enoch's like, he's going to be all like smart and be like, yeah, you do deserve TP. Just for that, you're going to get a free individual coaching session next week for 10 TPE. You're going to get one for free. It's on us, baby. You get that next week, starting Monday. That's what Enoch's going to be like. You can have all the free once per season coaching sessions you want. <laughs> exactly, he says. <clears throat> Enoch, are we going to a, a 44 file here uh, starting like Sunday or Monday or whatever. I know you're generous. We go on new new online file um for S forty four coming up, maybe. Yeah, okay. Sounds good. Yeah, usually I just yeah, that's kind of been the trend it feels like. Just keep the previous season file for the spring training and you know, we do we do a little new file Monday night. Cool. Just in time. Time to write a media. Well, if you're going to write a media, at least tag me in the forum. Don't be a coward. At me in the forum. All right. Be like, bring it up to the, bring it up to the cock. I mean the COC, not the cock. Don't bring it up to the cock. Bring it up to the COC. I use the C word. What's the C word? Chat? I use the C word? What's the C word? C O C? Cock? Coward. Oh, cowards. C word. Oh. <laughs> Oward. Oh, no. Did you all watch Co- Courage a Cowardly Dog back in the day? That show was freaky. Like, can you? Could you have that, McFly? Can you can you air a show like that anymore? Oh yes, Enoch, you know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, it was. It was like like I don't know. I've been like even like as a nine, ten year old, it was a great show. Courage was a very good boy though, very good boy. Like he's like a he's he's a top ten cartoon dog around. Top top ten cartoon dog of all time. Don't at me. Top five. Top five cartoon dog. Oh, for sure, the Golden Age. The the just like the the aesthetic was so dark and the animation too is just so dark. Like like you just knew something was bad bad was gonna happen just by like the shades of the color of the of like the scene and everything. Garfield, huh? Gar Garfield's a cat. What? What? Oh. Or is cat the C word? I have a cat. No debate. Yeah. (laughs) 
But like, I mean, yeah, no, Courage, he, he was always, he was always looking out for Muriel and Eustace, even though Eustace didn't like him. And that's, that's really special, you know? That, he was the hero they didn't know they needed. Just like Enoch is the PBE hero that we all don't deserve, but we need, you know? Yes, yeah, see? Even Enoch agrees. He just said yes. He's a good dog, loyal. Exactly. We could all learn a thing or two. I agree. I agree. I think, you know, there were, like... I think sometimes, like, yeah, cartoons are dumb and rot your brain or whatever, but there were some wholesome, there were some wholesome outcomes sometimes and, you know, lessons to be learned, right? Let's, yeah, let's get some, let's get some salutes in chat for courage. Let's get some salutes in chat for courage. Oh, you know what? I should have done a thing like, you know, I, I if you can't tell, I kind of sound what you might call northern. <clears throat> and uh so i should have done like a how many channel points to like talk i already kind of do talk like it but like actually talk like i'm from the movie fargo you know i i, I could commentate a whole ga spring training game like i'm from fargo like and that's a double down to the right field wall there don't you know but i won't do that how can i learn to can I learn how to legally acquire a state? Hmm. Hmm. Wisconsin. <laughs> yeah, we're going to go to that Packers game over there in the Lambo. <laughs> yeah. It's bad. I mean, it's bad. It's bad for me. It's, it's even worse the farther north you go. Like, I even say north weird, right? Like, I say north. Like, I can't just say, like, north, like a normal person. I have to say north. <clears throat> so, well, Index is just about done uploading. We're going to call it a night here. Thank you so much, everyone, for tuning in. I think it's going to be rabid streaming spring training number two on Saturday. And then we have, um, <laughs> yeah. And then we have uh, opening day next Tuesday, uh Hopefully we all get some big hype for opening day here. Not sure right now who's streaming it, but uh, might be me. Who knows? Maybe if Enoch, arm, you know, if Enoch, you know, twists my arm like he always does, maybe I'll do it. But anyway, thanks everyone for tuning in, and I will see you all later. Bye bye. <laughs> opening day, Jesus.